Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is basically What the heck is Apex Racer? I've been talking about it on the Auto Legends Discord, TechX Discord, the 1320 Discord. I've been talking about it in Facebook groups and with friends. I gotta thank my friend Daniel for showing me this game. This game is awesome. In a way, it's kind of like a sequel to Pixel Car Racer. And as you can see, I've already kind of built up my first car because it takes a while. But I also have a Dodge Charger, I have this, and I do have two of the starter cars for some reason. There is so much you can do in this game, and we're going to go over it real quick right now. So first of all, warehouse is where all your cars are stored. Dealership is where you can buy cars. Shop is buying parts for your cars, and customize is installing your parts as well as just customizing your ride and tuning your car. So we're going to start out with actually going through and I'm just going to show you there is so much you can do in this game so like forced induction ECU you can come in every time you buy parts you have to come in here and install them which it's not a big deal it's pretty easy but there is tuning in this game as well you can tune the flick uh, the stiffness of your suspension the ride height which you don't want to go too low because it does actually impact your car. We're going to save that. Nitrous, you can control the power if you have any installed. I bought some, but it bugged out because it's an alpha build of a game, so give it some, you know, give it some leeway. And your gear ratios, you can actually control gear ratios in this game, which is pretty cool. I'm going to save them about there. And balance, so like downforce or do you want it to wheelie basically? I'm going to go a little bit realistic and try to keep it, you know, somewhat in a real place. But your gold you can actually go in here and there's crates. Uh, 250, 750, or 2100. And these tell you basically what you're going to get. So this one is all cars. This one is 95% cars. And then this one is mostly parts. But click this. As you can see, I got a big turbo. So let's actually throw that on the car real quick. Performance, engine, forced induction, my 35 PSI turbo is installed. Awesome. Um, I want to try to get a clutch as well. So let's. Ooh, VR38, supercharger, another turbo, some good tires. I don't think I'm getting a clutch. Let's buy one of these and see what car I get. Yo, that's secretly one of the best cars in the game. Anyway, I'll show you warehouse real quick now that I have multiple cars. Basically, you just slide back and forth. Um, you can see what cars you already have and their ratings and their specs. We're going to go back to the car I'm building. I'm going to go customize because I got some stuff out of the crates. Got a bunch of turbos. Let's throw this thing on here just for fun. There we go. Uh, and I'm also going to sell these other ones. Oh, it won't let me. I think that button is broken. Yeah, that button is broken. But that's okay. So, as you can see, now I can go in and I can actually tune it. With 400 grand, I can actually go in and probably get a clutch and show you guys how the performance shop works. Go to axle, go to, no, we go to drivetrain, sorry. Clutch, and you can see how much all the different clutches are. There is a crate-only clutch for 40% shift speed. Um, we're going to go with just this guy. And also, you can buy transmissions and do transmission swaps which is pretty sweet. I don't know why they add power. They really shouldn't. I think that's their way of doing like, uh, was that differentials? No, it's not a differential. I forget what that part of the transmission is that controls all that. But there's also visuals. Uh, I'll show you real quick. You can buy like different body kit pieces. As you can see, I have, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ones you can buy. It's really cool what you can do in this game. There is so much to it. You can go customize. Let's go customize. Let's do some paint. Let's paint my wheels. Uh, so as you can see, there's secondary color and primary color. 
we're going to primary color, you know, I can do purple, I could do green. There's not many color options for wheels, and I'm not sure entirely why. Um, I wish there were more options for wheels. I'm going to leave them silver, but we're going to do like a secondary color. Uh, we'll make them stick out a little bit and make them red. And then we're going to go rear wheels. Ooh, I forgot. This is a different wheel. I don't want to do that color for that. Ugh. That's fine. But something that some of you might be really happy about is there's custom graphics and custom, uh, you know, you can do custom stuff. So you can buy a custom livery, uh, control it here. I don't exactly know how it works because I haven't done it yet. And then you can edit your livery and actually like draw some in here. It's really cool what you can do in this game. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. We're going to exit. Takes me back here. And tuning, there's a bunch you can do. Give me one sec. Sorry about that. I got interrupted by an ambulance. I hope whoever it's for is okay. Anyway, let's go into racing. Because obviously that's a very important part of a racing game. Let's go race. You can see it's kind of a flat open world. Well, not open world, but... A flat, oh my god, that ambulance is annoying. Um, kind of a flat world where there's different icons and you can click different things. I can't think with this ambulance. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm good now. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. And what you basically do is you run through these races. There's usually like 40 to 50 of them. And the car you see on the icon here is the car you win if you win all 40 races. It does take a lot of car building to get to this point. Um, my favorite races, personally, are actually the off-road races, which this car will not work for. Um, but off-road racing is a blast. Or there's also casual racing, and there's highway mode, which is a lot of fun as well. I would really like to figure out how to unlock this uh, RWB. That might require some modding, but I'm not going to do that in this game. <laughs> Um, I actually like this game, and I might actually end up helping them out with uh, security of the game. So anyway, I'm going to uh, let's do a race with the for the NSX here. I don't have it obviously on this account. What we're gonna do is race, and you can basically nitrous right at the green light. What I like to do is just hold the shift up button because it's actually on release, not on press. And as much as people, I think, complain about that, it's easier to drive. It really is. It's the best way to drive. And you can watch ads if you want to gain money. I have an ad blocker on my phone, so there's... Why was I up against a Bugatti, and why was it so slow? Was a four-year-old driving it? Oh, my God. Now I'm up against a Ford GT. There's no reason for me to be up against cars this crazy. But... I've had so much fun with this game. I've been playing it for quite a while now. This is just a game save for video sake. Uh, I'll show you a dirt race real quick. Let's see how this car does on dirt. This should be interesting. Dirt is a ton of fun. The only thing I wish they would do is like randomization of the dirt track every race. Not the same bumps every single time. I think it would be very cool for dirt tracks to be randomized. Because then you don't really know what to expect. Plus, you know, even if you're at a dirt drag event, the track is going to change every single race because somebody else's new ruts are in it. But as you can see, it's very easy to get money in this game. So like the next race I do for this NSX, I'm going to get 15000 if I win it. But I might as well just, you know, sit here and grind out some races and I'll be able to build up a car very quickly. Let's see. Ooh, this might be my best race yet so far. What am I going to do? It's probably going to be like, yeah, 11.9. Not bad. I can definitely do a lot faster if I really want to. The freeway mode is pretty cool. What you do is you basically just drive and try to dodge cars. It's almost like no hezzy, if you know what that is. I personally like to just stay in the shoulder and see how fast I can go. 
because there's usually not a car in the shoulder. So I do have nitrous. I don't know why it told me it didn't. But maybe if I just relog, I'll have it. But yeah, it's a this game is a ton of fun. I've been playing it for about a month now. Have not yet heard of any form of cheating except for people doing like unlimited currencies. But even that is pretty much patched up now with the newest releases of the game. And admins or de uh, developers of this game are very much well aware of it. It's not really a big issue in the game anymore. But, you know, casual races, it's exactly what you think it is. You, uh... Oh, you know what Pro is? That's the in-app purchase. I forgot. But you can even actually design your own avatar in this game. Which is really cool. Your favorite car is here. The amount of time you've played. Your total earnings. There's a bunch of really cool stuff to this game. This game is just overall really fun. You need to have level 20, have one hour of play time, and pro to be able to see the leaderboards. Now, that's only because it's still beta or alpha. Uh, a lot of this stuff that's being locked behind a paywall won't be hidden there forever. That's simply just because exactly how it sounds. It's in beta. Uh, I actually can't show you how much these cost because I don't run Google services on my phone. But you can see there are a bunch of cash packages. The cash you get is something insane. It's like 100 mil or 200 mil. I don't remember exactly how much, but it's a lot. Um, but yeah, the game's a ton of fun. I highly recommend it. If you want me to start a series where I start from nothing and then start getting cars in the game, uh, let me know. It could be a fun series where, you know, for once I play a game legit. You know, we could just keep this game save going and it would be a ton of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, when they add multiplayer, which is definitely planned, um, hopefully I'm racing against you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.